All right, welcome back everyone. I hope you're enjoying this 90 day security challenge for CompTIA Security Plus exam. Uh, be with me till the end because we, in this video we are going to talk about single sign-on and some other identity management technology as well. All right, so let's begin with our video. All right, so you can see with the identity management, the core core uh, technology that we are going to talk about is the SSO, which is single sign-on. And with the single sign-on, the purpose is to have one-time user authentication. Okay, and one once the authentication is done, it won't ask you for the credential again and again, right? So you might have observed uh the moment you you are visiting to sites like maybe an e-commerce site or maybe any other you know uh generic site that's where in you know maybe you are signing up on a website right so in spite of you entering your uh, username and password or creating or uh, creating a new username and password you you rather select for the google you know google authentication and because you already have a google account the your account is automatically created that's all happened because of these technology one of them is the open id and it can also make use of the oauth as well now open id is being used by all the large organizations to accept you know uh, you talk about google facebook yahoo all the you know large e-commerce everywhere in the world right and if you talk about the differences both of them works very similar open id and the oauth but the point is open id if i keep it very simple open id is majorly used to uh, majorly used to use for the authentication purpose whereas the oauth is majorly used for the authorization purpose so that make sure only you get the required privileges for that account so you know uh, when when we talk about the open id it was created for the federation or federated authentication meaning as i said earlier that will let the third party application authenticate the user for using account that they already have right and when it comes to the oauth it what's you you know uh, oauth was created to remove the need of users to share their passwords with any third party despite they have some uh, some other mechanism so that way that way it really saves the you know the authentication the you know it because of the sso itself or because of the oauth and open id it really helps a lots of lots of businesses right and when it comes to the understanding identity federation this is very interesting because you know we need to understand how the authentication works nowadays not uh, most of the website don't really host their own authentication mechanism rather they forward those requests to the identity providers now how exactly that works let's let's understand that so let let me take an example of you know of a, of a scenario where we have one user over here okay we have a user here okay and uh, this user want to uh, want to uh, want to get authenticated by a site maybe let's say i consider this okay and this is the this is the uh, maybe any site maybe abc.com in the structure of identity management we call it as a resource provider the rp okay and there's one more entity which is pretty much involved and this entity is called this entity is called idp which is the identity provider okay now what happened is the moment user visit the site and ask okay uh, i need to get access to your abc.com for example right i want to get access to this i want to authenticate myself right in that case the abc.com says okay see i mean i don't do the authentication okay i don't do the authentication and it will quickly reply okay i don't do the authentication but in order to get uh, in order for you to get authenticated you need to talk to this the identity provider it can be anyone it could be google it can be facebook it can be linkedin account it could be any their their own active directory as well right now 
once the the user visit there the idp provides uh, a kind of uh, you know a token okay now idp provides us a token which is uh, you know which is digitally signed by the idp itself might be google by facebook any of those provider so we get what a saml token a saml token now remember saml is another framework which is for security security assertion mic marker language it make use of xml it's very similar to oauth oauth make use of json format whereas uh, saml make use of xml format but saml is something which is widely being used at this moment so what happened is user get the token now at this moment user have got a token okay user get the token now uh, in this moment user don't have to share the credential with the abc rather the user will simply share the token with abc.com and the moment the you know the moment the abc.com get that token he you know the uh, abc.com auth authenticate the user itself they get the you know they usually want some information about your name your you know your location all those stuff and based on that the user will be authenticated even if you come back later on you just have to visit you have to revisit google and once you you get a new token you come back with its another token and you talk to the abc.com or we call it as a resource provider all right so this is how the identity federation or the identity management really works i think i hope you got the idea if you have any question do ask me in the comment thank you